And I don't even hate Quentin Reviews' content, actually, because I like Garfield. And I like the old, um, what's it called? Like, you know, the stop motion Christmas cartoons? The I'm brain farting the name. But you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, like you Rudolph mean uh, Wallace and Gromit? No, oh, yeah. it's, <laughs> well, it's like that, but it's, um, like the Here Comes Santa Claus. Oh, yeah, the, the, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. And, uh, Jack, the Franken Franken Bass cartoons. Which, by the way, yeah. <laughs> did you guys know that's actually considered an anime, the the Rankin Bass cartoons? Really? Because, yeah, no, it is. It's because the people that created the stop motion for the Rankin Bass were, um, were Japanese people. And that's why they have, like, kind of cutesy, like, colon three mouths. Like, even from, like, the 70s. These are oh, all. Yeah, these are I'm looking it up, and it uh, was done by several animation studios, such as Toei. Uh huh. I can. Mushi Productions and Topcraft. Wow. They're anime. They they are, in fact, anime. Holy crap. I didn't know. Yeah, it's that. one of those weird things that you wouldn't think about. But it makes sense if you look closely at like the way that they designed the characters. Is they got big shiny eyes, they got really cute faces, and they got like the colon three mouths. They don't always look like kitten like. This has completely thrown my world upside down. <laughs> <laughs> that just blow Gator's mind and the anime boomer podcast. <laughs> you just blew my you just blew my mind. Yeah. This is... If if you uh if, let me see if we can find like a good photo, like Rankin Bass. There we go. Uh animation. Let me find like a good character design to go off of. Let's see. Oh there, here we go. Let me uh copy image. Yeah, paste and send that to me. Uh where are you at? Uh there you are. But if you look at now. if you look at this pic picture of a uh, baby New Year, it literally looks like an anime character if you like break it down. Yeah, it really does. Let me let me bring this up on the screen here because that yeah I, I I see exactly what you're talking about now. That is definitely anime anime as. You got it pulled up. Oh, there yeah, it, is. it is. All right. Yeah. See, it's got like the big eyes, the small nose, and the little colon three eyes. Or the colon three mouth, excuse me, wow. colon three mouth. Mm. Yeah. And he's got, like, the little, like, hair, too, like, the curly hair. Because that's, like, this also looks, reminds me of, like, 70s anime, where they had kind of, like, the curly, um, what's it called? Like, they had kind of, like, curly, swooshy hair, like, in the front of their hair. It like, almost looks like, um, cute boy style, you know? Like, if you know what I'm saying. Like, it, it kind of looks like that. Uh, if I can find, like, a, an example of what I'm talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about because stuff like um like cyborg 009 they all had that kind of like fluffy anime hairstyle yeah here uh let me pull you up again dm this like to you. harlock like harlock here yeah 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 or like something like this but if you put these two characters like side by side like the two ones i see like you can see like the anime influence on there that they had see and you pull up baby new year like you can kind of see it, right? Like you can kind of see like the hair and the eyes and like the influence. Yeah, I can definitely see like the comparisons between the two. I never knew that was done by Japanese studios. It makes a lot of sense now. Mm hmm. It's an anime. Oh, yeah. We're learning things today, y'all. <laughs> Which shows that all of our culture as Americans, even our Christmas culture, is appropriated by other by, Asians by just the, do it better. Japanese. <laughs> I ain't seen a single anti-tuber bring this up. That's true. You heard it here it's first. Because they're not interesting people. 